welcome back. This is episode 13 of the Knitter's Closet podcast. I'm your hostess, Melissa Camerzel, and you can find me on Ravelry and Instagram as the Knitter's Closet. Thank you and welcome back to all our um, subscribers and welcome to all our new viewers. It's been, it's been a hot minute since I've recorded. <laughs> And this episode is going to be very, very light on all the knitting content because I just don't have my life organized right now. And so, yeah, I don't have anything to show you right now. I do have a finished object. This is the Tincture hat by Andrea Murray. It is a mosaic knitting pattern. And I stuck a really soft top UK um, pom-pom on it. So I'm wearing that. And today's sweater is my tin can flats. Uh, tin can knits the flax sweater um, in a short sleeve version minus the garter ridge knit in malabrigo and um i haven't un i haven't unknit it yet or progged it um, for a smaller size yet it's still in the larger size but i was kind of chilly today so i put it on um i really haven't had any knitting mojo i've i've had buying mojo but i haven't had any knitting mojo um i've only been crocheting um, this is my Granny Stripes Blanket by Attic Cat 20, or Attic Cat, Attic 24. Um, this is all I've been working on. It's all I've had the spoons for working on, really. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I've been working on. Um, it is Thursday, April 11th, so I wanted to pop on and give you guys a little introduction um, to the footage that I'm going to add, tack on at the end of this video. I went to Homespun about two weeks ago, which is a small curated event here in Maryland. It's out of the Savage Mill, the historic Savage Mill in Savage, Maryland, which is a converted mill that now hosts a bunch of little um, boutique shops. It's really cute area. Um, you'll see the 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 vendor space that all of the designers and um, makers were in was, it's this grand historic ballroom. It's beautiful, beautiful space. I know a couple of people that have actually rented it out and gotten married there. Um, so you see a couple of designers, some you may have seen before in some of the episodes, like Rising Fiber Tide, or Rising Tide Fiber, sorry Melissa, <laughs> a little tongue tied. Um, she's there, uh, Brenda with Rakovic Designs. Um, I'm really sorry, Brenda, if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, and another Brenda with End of the Row Yarns was there. Uh, all three of those lovely ladies I knit with on, um, uh, at, uh, Knits and Pieces, our local yarn store. So they're very lovely ladies. Uh, Duck Duck Wool is there, Halbaday Hoy Yarns, Star Knits. Crab apple, um, <laughs> and a ton of others that I cannot remember the names of right now. Tempting You was there. Um, the owner from Tempting You was wearing the most fabulous knitted outfit you've ever seen. So you'll see that. I had her do a little. I had. We actually got. I got a moment in her booth with nobody in there. So I have her playing around with her yarns and then turning around and modeling her video her photo for the video, or her outfit for the video. Um, and I did buy some things, and I'll do a haul video probably in, not this weekend, this weekend Nora and I are going to Allentown Fiber Festival, put on by Shirsty Cat's Designs. Um, so we're leaving Saturday afternoon, we won't be home till Sunday afternoon, and so I'm not going to record this weekend, which would be my normal weekend recording. I'll record next weekend, and I'll do a double haul. I'll do one from Homespun, and then I'll do one from uh, Allentown, if I purchase anything. Um, and I'll show you all my knitted goodies. I do have some podcast news. My logo is done. You saw that on the intro of the video. Yay! And I ordered some business cards, and I actually really can, like hand out business cards when people ask me what the YouTube podcast is. And then I've got some really good news this week. I've gotten good news like three times this week. It's craziness. And two of them were knitting related. So this hat I entered into the F This Knit uh, podcast um, knit along. They were doing an Andrea Mowry knit along. Uh, F This Knit is a podcast on YouTube, on, on 
not YouTube, on iTunes, they're an audio-only podcast. They are swear-friendly, so if you're not into swears, um, I don't recommend them because they are very sweary. But if you're not offended by swears, oh, these ladies are hysterical. It's Erin, Emily, and I want to say Amber. Yes, I think. And they're hysterical, and I love listening to them. Uh, so I entered the Maori along. This is her mosaic knitting the tincture hat. And I won something. <gasps> what? Amazing. <gasps> yeah, I fangirled so hard because they said my name on their podcast. <laughs> and it was the new Ravelry name. It was the Knitter's Closet. So the Knitter's Closet was mentioned on F This Knit. <laughs> um, and then I got an even just, well, just as exciting Ravelry message from Casapinka that she wanted to feature my Graphica. Guys, I actually do have that sitting right here still because I haven't, I haven't um, done anything with it yet. But she wanted to feature my Graphica on her pattern page, so it's like, yay! So that's gonna be featured on the pattern page. Super excited about that, right? That's crazy good. And then my daughter got off with a wait list. She was accepted to the Parks and Recreation after school care program for her school, for elementary school next year, which is amazing. Takes some, a load of weight off my mom who does the majority of my daughter's um, daycare needs during the week. Um, so, and it's $5 a month. That's crazy. Craziness. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so in other news, I wanted to make sure to remind you guys, if you're not a subscriber, if you're new and you're not subscribed, please subscribe and then go and check out episode two, um, for details on how to enter our 100 subscriber giveaway. And we also have another giveaway. Um, we are doing a stash down in, uh, it's make room for Maryland sheep and wool. Oh, my hair. It's a hot mess today. Sorry, guys. I don't normally record on a Thursday evening, but I really wanted to get something out for you guys because I know I've missed a week. So, um, anyway, so we're doing the stash down. <laughs> I'm literally hiding the biggest pile. Not really hiding because you can obviously see it, but yeah, it's a mess in here. Um, everything's crammed into a corner because I've a bench in here so that I can continue with that whole making it cozy thing but it's still really just organized right now um so anyway hashtag make room for Maryland sheep and wool knit along is happening in the Ravelry group and we're the knitters closet podcast and Ravelry if you go to groups and you look for us us me I'm the, I'm the only one person I'm the only one person but anyway we have a giveaway item for that um you can find all the details in the podcast podcast group on Ravelry. And we're going to draw a winner from that group. And one of, uh, the winning person will receive this really cute yarn basket. <laughs> and now a pin. And this really pretty skein of Unplanned Peacock in their Superwash Merino Worsted Base. And it is called Tide Pool. It's really pretty. I love all these rusty colors. So I just want to remind you guys of those. And for the 100 subscriber giveaway, we have the Stitches Together Unicorn Boogers skein. Very, very pretty. My nails match it today. I even got the gray sparkly to go with it. Look at that. It's like I planned it. Um, so... That's it. That's all I have for you this week. I am not working on anything except for my granny striped blanket. Um, and I did finish this, but that's it. I did finish a baby sweater. Oh, I did finish a baby sweater. But I haven't I haven't really done anything else. Um, and I don't even have the baby sweater to show you because I gave it away to one of the people having a baby already. But it basically looks like this. Like, no joke. I'm going to have like a twinsie baby sweater moment when this baby's born and the other baby that I'm knitting a sweater for too because it's out of the same scraps um but I did want to pop in and give you the little bit of information and my little bit of good news and just tell you I'm still here 
Um, I went to Homespun Yarn Party two weeks ago now in Savage Mill. And so I'm going to insert video at the end of this rambling on, this hot mess rambling on. Uh, I got to talk with a whole bunch of nice dyers and uh, I'm going to get to show you all their video footage of all their yummy goodies. A couple of good friends were there um, and they're going to be uh, at Allentown too so you may see their faces again. There's like 75 vendors at Allentown so I may skip over them since I've recorded them a couple of times. <laughs> probably getting tired of seeing me. They're probably like, oh my god, Melissa's coming over again to record. <laughs> but I like bringing these things to you. And, and let me know if you guys don't like these things. If you don't like seeing the festivals, let me know. I'm, I, you know, I'm here to entertain you. So if it's not entertaining to you to see these different festivals and these different yarns kind of like, um, like I've been doing when I go to these festivals, let me know. And I'll be happy to just stop and not record but let, you know, let me know either way. Let me know either way. Comment. Let me know. Yes or no. Do you like the, the videos? Uh, it won't it won't hurt my feelings if you don't. I understand. So, and with that, enjoy the video footage of Homespun Yarn Party. And I will record in, um, not this weekend, since I'll be out of town, but next weekend. And so I'll be back on schedule, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, so see you in a week, guys. Give a thumbs up if you like us, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.
Thank you.